Hey guys, Gilt Camp and Family Compound here in Idaho. Uh, I'm going to head down into the uh, bunker under the house here. I got something to show you, so stick around. Hopefully you'll have some fun and learn something. Compound. I'm down in the bunker right now under the house and uh, do a little, gonna do a little cleaning here with uh, my gun parts. But I had a company uh, send me something that wanted me to test out and check it out. There we go. It's the uh, uh, Rizik, Rizik, R A I Seek, Rizik um, Jag set with uh, three uh, patch holders as well, slotted patch holders. So we're going to be uh, testing these out. Uh, it was a uh, mic from uh, Pride Fend. It's the one that sent these to me. And uh, Pride Fend is the parent company of Racy. So I'm going to be checking these out. Now, so if I can get up here where you can see some of the stuff here. It has a point one seven caliber, 22, 243, 250, 270, 30, 338, 357, 38, 40, uh, 44, 45, and 50 caliber. And then it has, uh, it says 20, 30, 45 for the sizes on the uh, generic for the uh, patch swabs. Now I have noticed something about this. This is not bad. It's just mismarked a little bit. 357 and 38 are exactly the same caliber. It's just that the cartridge is different. And let me show you. I got, uh, so we got a 357 cartridge here and a 38 special. Now, so I'm holding them on the bottom here the same. Try to get here so it looks so you can see it. Uh, anyways, so the difference in the length here. There we go. Uh, there, there we go. So the bottoms are the same, but you see how the 38, 38 here is a little bit shorter? That's the difference. So the caliber should be the same, but they're not. If I pull these out, this one here, let's see if I can uh, get it to show where it's at here. It says on it, 357. Kind of hard to tell it's not focusing good there and the 38 on it doesn't say 38 it says 375. now if i hold these up together this way you can see they uh are a different you know different diameter which is not a bad deal all right the uh 375 is definitely smaller than the 40 the, the, smaller than the 40 cal so yeah it'll work all right 357 one maybe actually a little bit smaller than what the 38 is which is fine it's about this it's a little it's a little bit bigger than the 338. So, and that noise you heard is the air, uh, the heater kicking in. So, what I got, I got a couple barrels here I want to clean that I've uh, done some shooting with. So, what we're going to do is get out my, uh, ugh, if I can get my, get it here opened up. There we go. My hoppy's number nine in the jar here makes it easier. And I got a rod here. Now, these fit. These fit um, your standard, you know, American rod kits and stuff. The only uh, 
one that doesn't is the 175. I mean the one the 177. All right, so the 177 here is a smaller thre smaller threads on it here than what's on the the others. But um, if you happen to have a 177 uh, with a regular uh, uh, cleaning kit for it, this will thread right into it. So grab a patch here. Now with the patches here, sometimes people complain that, oh, I stick it right in the middle here and it bunches up too, bu too big to go in. Well, fine. What you do is you go up here closer to the corner, you stick it through on the corner here, and then you just hold it down and then you just kind of wrap it around it. That gives you a more even, even wrap on there to go through the barrel. So let me dip a little solvent on there, and I'm going to take, actually I need the longer rod, that's for the uh, 57 barrel. This is what I need for the one I'm going to do in here. Okay. Right. Put my elbow down on the remote. So here I got it on here. I'll set up. So I'm going to take my one barrel here. And I'm going to put it in there. This is the using the 338 this is a 32 caliber and I don't like to tell how dirty that is. It just took, cleaned it right out and let's see if the reverse uh, flutes here hold this in tight and we'll pull it back through. Mm. Yeah, it will. Just got to uh, we go. Set that down there and the patch went on the ground <clears throat> and the patch here oh yeah it's nasty gnarly it took out a lot of crud out of it. Okay so hang on a second I'm going to check one other thing here. Sorry about that my daughter showed up with a whole bunch of food and went to help them bring it in and put it in the freezer and stuff. All right, so where were we? All right, so yeah, so the one here is all got a lot of crud out of here for the first pass. And take a look here, and it looks dang pretty good, pretty good there right now. I'm gonna put one more through it just to make sure here on this. So I'm going to there we go. There, put that on there. Take 
the uh, 30 here and I will take a, another patch here, clean it. brush off back in its tray there and I will dry it out and see what we got here oh yeah spin as I go up in there should sure works really good get it all nice and it's coming out the end. And spin it going back down in. I like to spin it because it does a little bit more better cleaning on it and drying it off. Gets everywhere. Then just shoving it straight through the back. See what I mean? And take a look, see out of here. Oh man, Whew. that is so shiny. The light came through and really blinded me good. There we go, yeah, everything looks great on it. I just need taking a little more patch here. Just to wipe down the orifices. There we go. Get all the rest of the uh, any hoppies out here off. Make sure it's all nice and uh, dry that way. Now I'm gonna put a different patch in here. Back on that so I don't spill that. The final patch that goes through with the uh, rising uh, kit here. Fold that up a little bit. Yeah, I like the uh, spacing on these uh, on the patch things. I can actually roll the patch up and stick it through there. It's uh, enough room to do it good that way. Now I take my favorite thing, Break Free CLP, Cleaner Lubricant Protectant, put a couple drops here on that. Uh, knowledge 
be you too. Alrighty, so as always, stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, have fun. Hey everyone, a little uh, postscript added to this. I went ahead and I cleaned the barrel for the Thompson container for the 3030, and I cleaned my old service revolver, my 357 Highway Patrolling model, uh, and I cleaned those as well. The Jags work great on those as well. Alrighty, see you next time.